could have sworn I bought this, but I'm going to buy it now just in case. And welcome to Final Fantasy XV Part 87. By the way, more hunts! And when I bought this recipe book, you know what that means, folks! Come again. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. No matter how many times I hear that catchphrase, it never gets old. Anyway, we're going to start off our hunts this episode with more hunts from Ravito. Seeing as how I did a majority of some of the so hunts in uh, Lestalem, there were some hunts left in Lestalem I had to get to. Now, also in Ravito, you probably don't see it in the minimap, but this is the new location of where Dave's last mission starts. Now, here is the problem. Originally, in the original build, you have to speak to the hunters in Mercadio in order for you to actually start the mission with Dave. Now it moved from Mercadio to Ravito, and you have to actually speak to the proprietor in Ravito in order to start this mission. And then you have to go over to the Mirrorwood in order to find Dave. I'm saving that for later on, because there are a lot more hunts that we could do. But one part is going to be dedicated to Randolph, and that's going to be the next part. There's one reason why I'm dedicating that part to Randolph. Quite frankly, because you're going to get some really powerful weapons from Randolph. But here, I'm just getting money and initiating side quests. There is still the thing about the rainbow frogs, and when I cross that bridge, I'll get there. But more importantly, it will be before the finale. <sighs> Nonetheless, here I am trying to find out where in the world we're supposed to talk to the proprietor, and all we had to do was just talk to him and actually get information. Come again. And because we got. Wait, hold on. We were supposed to get information at least. But apparently we didn't. <sighs> Give me a second. Welcome back. I made a mistake. It's not the you Millwood that Dave is located in, it's the Mamalom Thicket. And yes, I've been pronouncing it wrong accidentally, not knowing what it actually is. So, with that. We have now started the Witch in the Woods, which we can just go back to Mamalum Thicket uh -huh. to find it. Well, what is it you want to know? This is supposed to be like a level 60 mission, but unfortunately, it's not really that hard. You're just going through the Come same again. thing you went through over and all over again, just What's the without the. Do you really need permission? Uh, well, yeah, I should say Bandersnatch that but was in the Mama Long Stick. guy's gone missing without a trace. So let's look for him again. <sighs> well, we're gonna have to use the Chocobo in order for us to get to our next destination. <gasps> let's go. I'm pretty sure that they're going to be in the right direction. That I'm gonna go in the right direction. No, wait, it is the right direction, because there's like... Three Keep Reaper moving. Kings in the area. Mm -hmm. Right behind you. Now, if you remember the Reaper Kings, I tried to take these on in Part 10 low level, and, well, they proceeded to kick my behind. And I retreated. Yeah, but then I came back on those Reaper Kings and I killed them. Now there's a Reaper King that is part of a hunt. And it's here in Ravito, and there's three of them. And it can be hunted at all times, so that's why I'm doing this at night. There's only two hunts left on the Ravito uh, hunt request charts anyway. Once we do all the hunts in the game, and also take care of the, the rest of the uh, quest in the game, there's not much left to do. Except for the... Oh, God. I forgot how powerful the Reaper Kings really are. 
Jeez, they really did a number on me. But as I was saying, once I get rid of all of the uh, hunts and all the side quests, there's really not that much to do except for the vaults. And once we're through with that, then all that's left is the stuff on the Royal Edition to do. Here's the messed up thing though. I just looked at the Royal Edition. Finally, they're gonna have a boat ready for us to go from Cape Kayam to Altitia without having to use um, Umbra unless I happen to be in the present. And at the same time, they'll also have the Insomnia City Dungeon. Things that people wanted to go to for the longest time. Unfortunately, that will have to wait under a $50 freaking paywall. Let's just put it to you like this. They could have waited two more years to put that out. Seriously. As good of a game as Final Fantasy XV is, they certainly screwed the pooch. And we're definitely screwing this guy's pooch, not literally, figuratively, by killing him off with a cross-chain link. Oh, and by the way, it's during this time that I ended up getting uh, the achievement for getting uh, 10 cross-chain links at the same time. And now the Reaper Kings are dead. I think there's only one last thing we need to get here in Ravito, and that's the Thunder Rocks. Might as well get those things I think too. I'm finally starting to get the hang of this. We've seen worse. So, without any further ado, do you let's ride. Hey, hey! I can't believe I was blocked by dead bodies. That's the thing that I kind of hate about some of these new games. They have games that if you like kill off certain enemies and their corpses are still there, they're blocking your path sometimes. And it annoys me in Fallout 2. No, actually Fallout 4, really. I haven't played 2, but I only played 3 and 4. But uh, it annoys me in Fallout 4 where there's corpses everywhere and I inadvertently get blocked by them, and the only way to get rid of them is to like kill them, or destroy them. But it still annoys the hell out of me that sometimes they can be glitched to a point where you can't get through. That is the point where you gotta wait until the bodies just either disappear or whatnot. And also, that's also the point where you need to get the cannibalism skill. Yeah, let's be honest, folks. Sometimes you just want to eat those uh, annoying enemies that just happens to be dead and blocking your path. And I think I killed all the, all the enemies here. So let's call that Chocobo and head over to our destination. Well, this is our destination! Where's the birds? Where are the goddamn birds? They should be here because they appear at all times. Ah, there they are! Seems we Let's destroy them! All right, they're rocks. I think they're thunder rocks and crimson rocks. I'm not sure, but these rocks are pretty much susceptible to aerial attacks and gunfire. Yeah, we just keep breaking them up and keep wrecking them. I'm pretty sure there's one more. Oh, there is. And also there's Imperial soldiers. Lovely. You know, if I do get my hands on, uh, or at least find myself fighting one of the Imperial Soldiers, uh, Magitek MTs, or should I say MXs, that's what I meant to say, 
Why am I fighting myself to fight that ultimate one that happens to be a hidden boss in the game? Oh yeah, I am showing that off. I'm trying to get Gladio Cyclone uh, correctly. And unfortunately I screwed that up too. And I screwed that up too. Nice. Can we actually focus on the birds at hand? Cause they are throwing electric bolts at me and that's not cool. <sighs> Get back here! I really like the air dance, but I really need to add another skill to that too. Or better yet, let's use Prompto. <sighs> Stupid bird. One last push suffice to finish them off. Come on, man. Just die. Ah, thank you. And that Sorry. takes care of our quest, which is the Lightning of Ravito. And Starshell was still there. That's hilarious. So let's head back to our car and turn in these quests. Now, just a word of warning, things are a little bit out of sequence. That's okay, because I have a reason for doing this. Because I've recorded a lot of hunts, and some of them are bunched together. Some of them are separated because of the time constraints it took to beat the enemies. But yeah, I've done some serious hunting. And probably completed three-fourths of the hunts in the game. Some of them I'm going to show on screen... Some of them that's already been shown, or Welcome I've already boys. showed off at Looks some like point and forgot to meal. actually do it in a different save file, that was no I'm going to show that off. Well done. Other than that... Wait. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. Things that I've already done, I'm going to show off. Things that... Oh, God, I made a mistake. What I was trying to say was, things that I Good have not done yet, the worse for the wear. I'm going to show off. And by the way, I'm also showing this off, that uh, any hunt Let's or mark nice meal that you here. happen to kill we could use a hand from, a brave bunch like from you. one area, you could actually turn into another area without uh, having to go back to the same area over and over again, saving you the trip. Yeah, by the way, I'm showing you my level because once again, this is a time skip. <sighs> And this is also an enemy that we have to face on Ravito. But unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to record this hunt because of the fact that by the time I got to it, it was daytime. And they only come out at night. <sighs> what I was trying to say while I was getting confused, that I was going to show off the enemies that I haven't already shown off. And I was going to not show up the enemies that I already have, or enemies that I've already hunted in a previous part, and forgot to, you know, do that in a different save file, because some of this is from a different save file. Whatever the case, using Starshell is pretty good for demons. You want to know what else is good? The fact that Ramu has come in to regulate. No matter how many times I see Judgment Bolt, it always brightens my day. Both figuratively and literally. And with that said, I mean, I could have taken them all, but the game would have forced me to actually have a summon anyway. And Gladiolus picked up a glass gemstone, which, by the way, he should not be able to do unless he's at level 8, if not 9. Oh, by the way, time skip. Yeah, we pretty much wrecked this. Could you excuse me one second? Alright, there was another reason why we were here. I do Be believe we also picked Safety up a hunt first, from Kothis Station. 
Go from Quartic Station in Caucus. Or was it somewhere else? Is on. One thing is perfectly clear. Nice guy. We have to go into uh Great Shire Glacial Grotto in order to find the next hut. So that's why we were here anyway. So we just need to Onward. Right. Uh, get the treasure that's here and more importantly get inside uh Grayshire Glacier Glacial Grotto. Now um here's I can't believe I just stuttered. Now here's the thing. Even though I'm going inside Grayshire, I'm not doing the vault. Not right now at least. Again, that's going to be for September. Ugh. Yeah. And yes, I know by that time, Royal Edition would come out. <sighs> anyway, let's head in. And once we're inside, we can just skip and go straight to the boss. Seems we found what we were looking for. Because that thing right there. I don't remember its name, but it was one of the bosses in, uh... Zegnatus. Yes. It's all you. It is one of the bosses in Zegnatus. And I'm gonna use Ignis. Why? Because Ignis is a beast. And also, there is a achievement for actually killing a hundred enemies with total clarity, thanks to not only this new patch, but also Episode Ignis. Oh, it is fun to play as Ignis, just letting you guys know. I mean, hell, I can sit and switch the prop to any time I want. Or I can even switch to Gladio. But Gladio's game plays a little bit harder. But I'm certainly making short work of this monstrosity right here. As a matter of fact, the boss is dead, but the youngins are still alive. Well, not for long, because they're dead too. That was a rather tiring endeavor. Time for some and I got a triple A just for that. Wow. Had I had the victory fanfare on, I would have just gotten uh two um ability points for that. Anyway, now it's time for us to move on to our next hunt. I think this hunt is coming from another series of Lestalem hunts. If I'm not mistaken, this happens to be a frog, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, no, no, that's on the later part. I'm trying to remember what this one was. But, oh, wait, I, I remember now. I remember what this thing is. This was actually a Marlboro. Oh god, I just realized what we're fighting. Ah, oh, A freaking Marlboro. Of course. God, I hate these things so much. You know what? I honestly should have skipped this. But there's a reason why we're here. Seems we found. Because in this area. Yeah, I'm freezing the water so that the Marlboro can't get out. But in this area, the Marlboro actually has. Uh, well, he's right by a treasure chest, and that treasure chest just so happened to house the power shield. And we're gonna end it real quickly before it could actually spawn any brats. And I do believe the power shield is right here. We're alive. Let's celebrate by eating some And dead. yeah, there it is. That's the only reason why I'm showing this off, otherwise I would have skipped this hunt. So I'm going to equip the Gladio and... Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I I had to fight a Marlboro for a shield. That only would have made Gladio's 
strength go up by one point. Wow. We'll get better shit from Randolph, that's for sure. Oh yeah, by the way. All of this, I do believe, was from Lestalem as well, if I'm not mistaken. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is all from Lestalem. So, yeah, that's a lot of things we had to do. I probably will have them all done by the time the uh, playthrough ends. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff. And some of these actually have to come out in certain weather conditions. Not just the time of day. So, we're just going to go back to the car and I think we're going to go on to our next objective. Hmm. As a matter of fact, it shouldn't be this far away. We just need to hop into Regalia and just head over there. Yeah, it's only about two minutes. Yeah, that's the thing. The huts I picked up from Lestalem, they are all like in one big area. But as it stands right now, I'm trying to get as many hunts as I can. I think there is one particular hunt I need to show off, and that's the Cactuar. And those will only show up if you're at a higher hunter rank, like around level 8 hunter rank. So yeah, bear that in mind. Anyway... I think we just Who's made it to our destination. We just need to use the Chocobo to get there. As a matter of fact, it's right by the ocean. Hmm, now that I think about it, this area is right where that uh, lobster that we fought was. Just thinking about that. Let's see. I do believe it's time for us to call ourselves a chocobo, because I don't think we'll be able to get there. Easy well, at now. least not without riding in the water, or under the bridge, one of the two. And plus, we would have been automatically uh, trounced in a fight with no way of getting out of it. Well, locked in a fight, that's what I meant to say. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, it actually, as a matter of fact, they're right up ahead. Easy as they come. Or are these the, the same enemies we're looking for? No, oh, they're not. They're not. Hey, but this is from a level seven Chocobo ability, actually. Chocobo can actually give you and your teammate buffs, as well as actually uh coming in to help your teammates at level 8 with Rush J. Choco which is a uh, flurry of kicks and of course we already got the recipe for that alright here's where we need to be and these are the enemies we need to take down yeah a Sagan, a Sahagan, and a Crowhagen. These, uh, they're pretty much the same as all of the, uh, Sahagan line. They just grab you, and they fling you around, and they try to drag you to deal extra damage. And they also spray water in your face, just for the sake of doing so. The only reason why I have the armor on, because 
The Krohagen is at a larger level, uh, at a higher level than the Sahagen. The Krohagen are going to be basically the ones that's going to take you down. Uh, but seeing as how we've defeated them, now we can go on to our next hunt. So let's return to the car. But first, let me uh, stop for a second. I'm back. I had to stop and get me a drink. Anyway, now it's time for us to go after Mecha Claw. Which, by the way, uh, Mecha Claw is actually back the way we've came. Yeah. It's in fact on the way back to Lestalem. So, we'll just have to hop back in the car and drive over to that area. This will probably take out a few hunts that's at that same area as well. So, let's just drive back and deal with this right now. I mean, it, it shouldn't take us long, but fast travel definitely helps. I mean, even though we're doing fast travel, we're going to make enough money to get all that back. I mean, I have did a couple of time skips to show that off, you know. Taking a anyway, walk on the wild side? Nothing like nature in the middle of nowhere. Now that we're here, we kind of stopped short from where we needed to be, so... We're going to have to use a chocobo to get there. Alright, chocobo. Do your stuff. Let's go. I wonder if level 10 is the max or is it level 9? I'm not sure. But one thing is for sure. Riding on a chocobo with, I do believe, choco runner on here would actually give you a lot of it's well it'll give you some AP until you run out of time with the ride. chocobo I mean if you run all around the entirety of uh, it's Lucius with a chocobo or drive around with a car you're gonna be gaining a lot of AP but whatever the case we found our first victims which is on the way to the Mega Claw which just so happens to be in the need of being destroyed. Oh, sorry for that. That's my cat in the background. I apologize. But anyway, this is actually a hunt, which of course, there's going to be several soldiers out I me mean, in here too. And I just saw the dropship drop them off. So yeah, this is going to be a pain in the behind. It's one of those hunts. And Noctis is going to deal with them. Even though I'm controlling Prompto. But that's okay. You just use the gun to kill off the bees that just so happens to be part of the hunt. I think it's the killer bee and the queen bee? I'm not sure. No, no, I think it's... No, no, I'm right. It's killer bee and queen bee. This was also a hunt with Stalo, so those were concerned. We just had to deal with them. So now let's switch back over to Noctis. Okay. Switch back to Noctis. Okay, don't take a selfie shot. Switch back to Noctis. Okay, maybe I can just blast him. Well, that works too! Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Alright. Let's switch back to Noctis. <coughs> Who was actually handling all the Imperial Guards himself. That's kind of awesome. And at the same time, Kinda messed up. You couldn't really do that as the player at some point. Hit it! Wait, why why is the Why is the summoning coming? Why? 
There's no reason for that to happen. Everything's dead. Whatever, Ramu just comes whenever he wants. Even though we killed everything. I swear, this playthrough. My playthroughs have the weirdest things happen to it. We ended up killing up some different animal from Timbuktu instead of what we were intentionally killing. Whatever the case, we need to get back on track, and once Ramu is gone, we can find out where uh, Mega Claw is, because that's the one we need to destroy. I think it is back this way. Yeah, we're in the right direction. We just need to call it Chocobo. <clears throat> Easy now. Still messed up that Ramu just had to show up right at the nick of time. Even though we were pretty much killing off everything, he killed off other animals in the distance. That had nothing to do with the battle, mind you. Oh god, not any more Imperials. You know, nope, I'm not dealing with them. If there was a mini boss, I would have went back to deal with it. But it's not. Ah, the breeze feels good. Indeed. So we should be nearing our target objective. And it's in this woods right here. What what what's targeting us now? What's targeting us now? Ah, nothing of importance. <clears throat> but what is important is the mega claws that's over here. Let's burn these assholes or freeze them to oblivion. Yeah, Mega Claws are like the biggest forms of the Saber Tusk. They are arguably uh, stronger as far as HP and defense and attack. Oh, HP and attack goes, but defense, they still fall to a, a great sword and also still falls to a dagger. But one thing is perfectly clear, you need to watch out for their tusk, because they can inflict poison on you. Like everything past the uh four tooth can actually pass uh poison on you. And I'm just using total clarity to make my attack stronger. But we've defeated what we needed to defeat. Mega Claw has been destroyed. But I think there's another enemy around here somewhere. And I wouldn't be supp- Ooh! Actually, let's pick these up, because I need some more herbs anyway. Alright. Let's go after you! Oh wait, I already did that one. Uh, let's go after that one. Is this your idea of a joke? Saber claws. So the saber claws is not too far from where no we have to go. All I need to do is get in the car and drive to where they are too. And the saber claws are actually easier than the mega claws. I mean, there's Saber Tusk, Saber Claws, and anything past that. I'm trying to remember everything, alright? Give me some, give me a little break, alright? It's, it's been a while since I've seen weak enemies below uh, level 50. 
And I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. But with the whole, um, me being at hunter level rank four thing, I mean, I couldn't actually do too much. So with that said, nice weather. Oh, now it's raining. And I think I have the hunt for the Hectatoad and the Gigat. Okay. The Hectatoad and the Gaia Toad. Those are the only two hunts that I need to show off in the raid if I have it. I'm going to have to look them up. Thanks for the ride. If not, I'll have to re record the footage. Whatever nice the case, riding with you. those two toads only show up in the raid. And sure enough, there they are. What? One minute it's pouring, the next it's over. Wait, no, that, those aren't it. Did you see a rainbow? But yeah, they were among the group that's in the rain. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's them. Yeah, that's right. These are the toads that we're looking for. And not only that, we ended up fighting a knot. We really didn't what? fight these things, Sorry but, well, we inadvertently ran across what we didn't want to fight. Okay, I'm back. I just have to make sure that there was no options. Anyway, we're just killing off this, um, see the name. Oh, that's an anatomy. Never mind. It's history and it's a level 29 one, to say the least. So yeah, we just pretty much murdered a frog, and, <clears throat> well, two frogs, actually, and I think that's our quest that we had to get, and I think there was one last one, which is a Gaia Toad. Unfortunately, by the time we get the Saber Claws, it'll be too dark for the Gaia Toad to show up, and we'll have to literally wait till it rains again in the daytime for Gaia Toad to show up. So, yeah. Let's just knock out these saber claws and get on with our lives. It's been a while since I've seen these guys. Considering, well, I haven't actually been on the uh, actual overworld for a while. So, yeah. It's been a while. Stay down! So they are practically right from where the hecatodes were. The hexatodes. And now that I'm thinking, since we've already seen these things in action and we've killed them many, many times, uh, <coughs> the hexatodes, the only thing you have to worry about those guys is the fact that they hit harder than the uh, gigantodes. Now then, let's just head on back to, uh, let's stall him and turn in most of these hunts, because I'm pretty sure we are done with him. Yeah, we're going to have to accept a little bit more. Now then, here's how I was planning on doing all this, like mixing up all the hunts, yeah, there will be time discrepancies, but at the same time, I'm going to try to mix up all the hunts and try to mix up all the quests, so it'll be hunts, quests, hunts, quests, or something like that, but the way it's looking, I'm going to get a few hunts in, get Randolph's quest done, then do a few more hunts, get Dave's quest done, then do a few more hunts, and then finish off with uh, Sonya's annoying ass quest and Navit's fishing quest. And from there, Damn, the last thing I do hot. is Adamantois and Piteous. Like That's what I intend no on way. doing. What, too embarrassed to Things show might not work body. that way, but that's what I intend on doing. So let me go on ahead and get out the Magitek armor for right now, because we kind of abused that throughout the entirety of this uh, part. But don't worry, 
I mean, yeah, you'll probably see it on and off again, but at the same time... Hey, I got muscle. You just uh, <clears throat> if you say so. We won't be, like, flagrantly abusing the Magitek armor in most of Randolph's hunts, so there's that. All right. Let's just head over to, I think it was the guy that was here in the square. Not right by the uh, inn, but right here. Yeah, this guy right here was where most of these hunts came from. Welcome. And he has a long list of them. Impressive work out there. And this should get me up to level five. Meaning there'll be more hunts for me to take on later. And by the way, that I'm one hunt safe actually well. will get turned in later on. Like the uh hunt for the uh I do believe Impressive work out there. The uh glacial bombs, they'll be turned in later because of the time discrepancies. Well done. But yes, we gain up a hunter rank. And because of that, we got a sapphire bracelet as a result. You're a godsend. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, with all these HUDs we've gotten, we are certainly raking in the money. I'm glad you're safe and well. Hopefully, I'll get to level 6 by the time I'm done with this. No, we will, actually, because time discrepancy says you're a otherwise. Godsend. Yeah, I think we've blazed through a lot Would of like a lot of eat? hunts. So let's see what's all next on, on the you? docket of things I have to do. Well, aside from the two that I've already marked down. Yeah, that one I already did. I'm not gonna show that off again. I still have this one, this one. How about I just take these night hunts? Might as well. Cause they're pretty hard hitting. But they'll give me You'll a lot the of star Wonderful. points, so I could go on ahead and uh, become level, I would say, six. Best of luck. Oh, we're going to be going after that one next. No, no, no. Okay, fine. We will do it like that. Do be careful. All right, let's head on over to that one hunt so we could go on ahead and get that over with. But, however, I'm going to have to leave it at a cliffhanger. And the reason for that is because of the fact that I was going to do Randolph's hunt, or should I say Randolph's quest, in the next part. All right, let's just head over to the location and as the loading screen goes up, we'll probably be there at least for the most part. <clears throat> we don't have to wait until it gets night again by the time we do because it's actually a short distance from where we have to be. And it's in a pit, so it's not really hard to find this guy. <sighs> Let's hit it. All I right. do have mm -hmm. to say this. You're going to be in for one hell of a fight, whether you wear the Magitek armor or not. Because this is one of those level 99 hunts. And let's be honest, folks, level 99 hunts can be a pain to deal with. Hey, wait. Wait, why does Gladio not have that on? Hold on, let me put that on him. At least I could actually show off the attacks that the uh, enemy does before we actually finish it off. If I have the um, <clears throat> Magitek armor. And I'm not going to rest 
I know there is a campsite right there. Hmm, what do you know? It's a campsite I haven't visited yet. I'm gonna have to go through all of the campsites throughout town. I forgot about that too. So I'll have to dedicate a part to that and eventually show off some of the <sighs> tours that go along these uh, camping trips. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right at the heart of the hunt that is Bones looking for an offering. And I will see you guys next time in part 88 where we take a break from that and go on to deal with Randolph and all of his missions and get some new weapons. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.